there's something very important that I want to talk to you about. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I'm not really a fan of Donald Trump. Um, I do seek to understand people, regardless of who they are, regardless of how I feel. I do seek to understand them. And for a long time, I have been stuck wondering uh, about a lot of his motivations, specifically his denial of climate change. He recently did an interview with Pierce Morgan in which he made very clear that he doesn't understand climate change. Um, Donald Trump said that uh, people used to call it global warming, but now they call it climate change because certain areas were getting so cold and that the polar ice caps were, all, were supposed to be all gone by now and they're setting records. Now, I bring that up for a few reasons. One, because I much prefer to realize that someone is misinformed or misunderstanding than lying to my face. And at this point, I really believe that Donald Trump means what he says, and that gives me a certain sense of relief. Um, because if he believes it, then maybe we can convince him otherwise. If you are uncertain, let me explain some of his confusion for you, because there's a chance that other people are wondering about this. Um, <clears throat> We did call it global warming. We still call it global warming. It's sort of a misnomer. It's sort of a generalization because what it refers to is the fact that globally and overall, the planet's temperature will rise. Now, um, I'm sure you understand that the ecosystem is very complex, especially when a change happens on such a broad scale. And it causes these fluctua uh, fluctuations that can cause it to actually get colder or rain more in other areas. Um, that doesn't mean that overall the planet's temperature isn't increasing, and it doesn't mean that it's not a problem. Um, the conditions that the planet is um, suffering from, the phenomenon that we have been seeing in the last year, will worsen. Um, if you wondered why you'd never heard of a bomb cyclone before a month ago, be prepared to hear a lot more of it. If you haven't heard about Cape Town running out of water and approaching zero day in a matter of months, a point at which their taps will run dry, be prepared to hear about it more because the planet is changing. Even if we um, make radical changes now, we can't turn back time. We will not be able to undo the effects as they are right now. This will be the new normal. Um, someone once gave the analogy of setting an ice cube out on a table until it melted. If you wanted to refreeze that ice cube, that now puddle on the table, imagine how cold you would have to make the room and for how long for it to ever freeze again. And even if it did freeze, it wouldn't go back to the same shape. We can't freeze the planet. The planet will continue on this path. Now what we can do is lessen the progression of these events. Um, and while it might take a while to really see a change, it is important that we start investing in those things now. Um, it is important to speak to other people and use phrases like climate change and not global warming because I think it allows for certain people to get confused. It is important to talk to people who don't believe in climate change and in a very polite way help them to understand it because it is vital vital that we all get on the same page on this um there is no one to whom it is inappropriate to speak i don't care if they are left wing right wing um atheist christian muslim jewish old young everybody needs to start talking about this and get on the same page and politely, politely help people understand. Um, it is encouraging to me that people generally misunderstand because I do think that you can combat uh, misinformation, whereas I don't think you can really cause someone to stop lying about a position. So if you were unaware of Trump's positions, that's what they are. And if you are looking for even a small way to help out in the world, you can start by talking to people. You can start by educating yourself. Um, I'm not the world's greatest expert, but if you have questions, ask me and I'll try to direct you in the right place. Or ask other people. Or Google. Um, 
there are there are so many resources in the world we can educate ourselves and we can talk to others thank you